This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks and today we're a little chilly here uh, first day of spring uh, but I wanted to show you something that a lot of onyx owners don't realize is the ability to change your overlay settings and we're going to jump in here and I'm going to show you how to clean up your screen a little bit so you can see more data and less overlay data. Uh, let's jump in here this onyx has got amazing amazing number of things that you can do with it and we're going to look and learn and make it easier for you to look at the screen and see the data that you need to be more su successful one of the things that you can do is we got all these numbers and stuff over here on the left hand side to me it's not really important because the most important data is on your right hand edge of the screen when you're looking at uh, side Im or 2d and down imaging Side imaging, the most important stuff is at the top because that's the newest, refreshest data. You can see here we're pretty much in an underwater forest. But why do I need both sets of those data? You don't. And that's the cool thing with the Onyx is you can come up here, come down here to sonar options, come down here to overlays, and you can actually turn them off. But what we got to do we're going to come down here to global settings and turn it off and we're going to continue and overlays we don't data overlays we're going to take all this stuff we're going to turn it off here now we've cleaned up our down imaging so we got full thing I know the feet the mile an hour and speed and the water temp that's all I need to really know if you need more you can put it down at the bottom but you can that global overlays is basically anytime you have a down imaging screen you're gonna have that data now you don't have it there now you can come back and you can see the data up here have more clean screen we flip over here to we'll go to our three-way split we've got data on every one of those screens and this is where it's maybe a little more critical our most current data is up here this data down here we'll go to 2d we'll hit our menu we'll come to sonar options and we're gonna come down to overlays we'll come down here to data overlay we're just gonna turn it off turn it back on it's gonna be right back on there I can quickly turn it on and off here come over here Hit our menu, slide down here, go to sonar options, overlays, data overlay. Now we've got it turned off. And now we can see everything is down there. Wow, look at them trees, look at them fish on Chirp 2D sonar. Man, it is time to go do some fishing. But I wanted to show you that real quickly because it, uh, it's one of the things you can clean up your screen and not have all that stuff. Personally to me, I may move this down here, turn it off up here, I get more. We could do that real quickly. Come down here, sonar options. And we'll come down here to preference, uh, to overlays. We'll come to data overlay. We'll turn it on. But we'll come up here to the side imaging come down here to data overlay turn it off now look at that we've got just the right amount of numbers up in there we don't have to be looking through all that stuff one other thing that I was going to show you is whoop we'll get on the right screen here go to 13 we have the chart the the depth range marker we can get rid of them too if you're not needing depth range markers come up here and turn them off and you cleaned up your screen I hope that helps I hope that that wasn't that easy it's another way that we can customize our hummingbird onyxes to do more for us and get more from them. I hope that helped you learn a little bit about data overlays and what you can do and how you can clean up your screen. 
you can do it globally or you can do it just on that one screen if you do it globally like here it's affected both the side imaging and the, or the 2d and the down imaging so if you don't want to mess with the global settings turn the global settings off like we can come in here and we can go to global and turn them off and come up here and we'll continue we'll hit our overlays come down to the bottom and we'll turn them back on for that screen there it's simple it's easy it's a hummingbird man get more do more and ultimately catch more fish with a hummingbird thank you tune in next time we've got lots of features in these uh the new onyx and helix stuff to show you more so you can do more thank you tune in next time